Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this super pretty um, spider's web bracelet and this was designed by Tropico Lumi on Instagram. I'll make sure to have her name in the description box below. Um, but first I wanted to just show you this bracelet. So I am so in love with this design. It is gorgeous. I've probably made I think five or six of them already. Um, I just love this design so much and it's just a really neat design. So um, yeah. This is the rendition that I think, yeah, this is the first um, rendition that I made. I have made quite a few since then. Um, I'm going to bring up Tropical Lumi's Instagram here. So Tropical Lumi, and this is her profile. She takes a lot of nice outside pictures and lots of nice color combinations and a bunch of original designs, um, a couple of which I'll be doing tutorials for in the future for her. Um, but this is her account, so I would definitely recommend checking her out on Instagram and giving her a follow for me. And like I said before, I will have her name in the description box below if you did not catch that, or uh, if you did not catch how to spell her name. Um, but this is a super nice bracelet, and to make it, you're going to need a hook. I'm going to use my double-ended hook, but you could probably just use a rain balloon hook as well. And I'm going to be using three colors of bands today rather than the two, or rather than four. So I'm only going to be doing two different colors, where this is yellow, chartreuse, and then green um, sweets. But I'm going to still be using white for the center, and then I'm going to be alternating between glacier green and the mint um, dual layer from the carnival pack. So to start, what you're going to want to do is take two of your white bands. So take your first white band and cap it on your hook, and take your second white, oops, that was really bad cap it on your hook and pull a second white band through the cap band. So now you should have this. What you want to do is lift this cap band, uh, piece of a cap band here and just hold that so that it doesn't slip off. You're now going to take two of your glacier green bands. You're going to take your first one, pull it through the first two bands, making sure they stay in order, and you're going to lift the farthest one and reattach. And again, do that one more time. Take a band through the first two and lift the outside one, like so. Now you're going to go ahead and turn this around. I'm just going to pinch my bracelet here for the first part. And once you have this, we're going to go ahead and take this first loop off and grab the other side of the cap band. Again, grabbing two more glacier green bands, pulling it through the first two, lifting the outside one, pulling it through the first two, and lifting the outside one. And now once you have this, we're going to go ahead and take a white band. And we're going to pull this through all of the bands except the last one. So just like this. And then we are going to pick up the other side of this band here, which should be the second loop. So you're going to grab that. And then you're going to grab the two loops that are second or third from the outside and on the very outside. You're going to want to make sure that they are the same band. And you're going to reattach. And then you're going to just put that one glacier green here on the outside. So now, once you have this, you're going to take two of your mint green here. You're going to pull the first band through the first two loops. And then you're going to lift the outside one, which should be your glacier green. Then take your second band and pull it through the first two. And again, lift the outside one. Now I'm going to slide this down to the end of my hook here. And I'm going to repeat the process. So taking two of my green, my mint, pull it through the first two, lift the outside one, and pull it through the first two, lift the outside one. So now once you have this, it might uh, look a little bit weird, but what you're going to do is take a white band. You're going to again pull it through everything except the last band, and you're going to lift the other side, oops, the other side of this band here, which should be again the second loop from this side. And then you're going to go all the way over here and grab the third and last loop, the third to last and then the last loop. And you're going to leave all of these other bands in the center. You're going to want to make sure that these glacier green are in the very center, um, so just rearrange that if they aren't. Um, but you're going to want to keep your bands like this, and you will want to keep these two center ones inside of the white. So just make sure that your bracelet looks like this and we're going to continue the process so I will show you a couple more times. You're going to take your glacier green band and you're going to pull it through 
the first two loops, lift the outside one. Again, through the first two loops and lift the outside one. Now I'm going to slide this down. And just make sure that my bands stay in order. Again, taking two more bands, you're going to pull it through the first two, lift the outside one, and pull through the first two, lift the outside one. Once you have all of these loops on your hook, take your white band, pull it through everything except the last band, and then grab this second loop that connects to this outside band, and then grab the two loops that connect to the other outside band. And then once you do that, just make sure that you pull this one to the outside if it doesn't already fall over that way. So I'll show you one last time. Taking your mint through the first two, lift the outside one. Again, same thing. This is pretty much a fishtail stitch, so hopefully you can get the hang of that by now. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. You're going to want to make sure that your bands don't twist also. Okay, once you have this, and if, you're, um, if your teal band kind of goes out of order, just make sure you put it back the way it's supposed to. Now you're going to pull through everything except the last band on your hook. Grab that second loop, and then grab the two loops that connect to this outside band, and then take this one and pop it over to the outside. So now, once you have done all of that, all you have to do to finish this bracelet off is, once you're at this point, take a band through all six, attach the other side, and attach your C-clip here. Obviously you're going to want to um, finish that so that it is the length of your wrist, but I think it's a really fast bracelet to make so it shouldn't take too long. Um, but I hope you understood that and I hope you uh, enjoy the bracelet. So. And that's going to do it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. I will have Tropical Lumi's name in the description box below, so make sure to check her out on Instagram and give her a follow for me. And I think that's all I'm going to have for this video. Um, so I hope to see you next time.